We've got our first postseason content here in MLB The Show 23. I'm going to be going over it in today's video. There should be timestamps for everything, specific content down in the description. Maybe the pinned comment on this video. If y'all want to show some love, maybe drop a like, subscribe for the daily uploads, or leave a comment here on this video. So I want to go ahead and start with the postseason program. This one is the wildcard program. We're going to be getting a new one of these every single Friday. I think next week, Friday, we should get the Division Series program and then the championship series the one after that so let's take a look at the wild card program starting out you get some pennant chase packs some more of these right here if you remember these 99 overall cards i'm kind of surprised that they didn't have new ones but we have a 97 overall wild card who oscar brazaban and when i say i'm surprised they didn't have new ones i just thought we could have maybe gotten some flashback postseason cards from maybe previous year's wild rounds and had some extra new cards instead but hey some free packs in this program, but 97 relief pitcher right here, 116 hits per nine, and 99 velocity and break on the card, 83 control form, no outlier on any of the pitches. Taylor Walls from the Rays. I love those Devil Ray uniforms, man. Those are sweet, but he gets a 97 shortstop card, the switch hitter, 90 fielding, 87 speed, 103, 125 contact, 101 power for him versus left-handed pitching. Trevor McGill from the Brewers gets a relief pitcher card, a righty reliever here, 111 hits per nine, 114 clutch, 88 control, 99 velocity, and break for him. And he does have outlier on both his four-seam fastball and then also on his knuckle curveball. That's a little bit interesting for that Trevor McGill card right there. Another relief pitcher, Brock Stewart. I'm liking the lower overalls being more relievers because they're usually better than, say, a position player, 97. But Brock Stewart, righty reliever. I like his pitch selection in the top right. 99 below and break for him. 113 hits per nine, 119 pitching clutch for this Brock Stewart from the Twins. Santiago Espinal from the Blue Jays. Second base gets a 97 overall. Also plays third base short and center field, 117, 125 for his contact, 76 and 80 for his power, 87 fielding and 55 speed right there. Paul Seawald, another closing pitcher card, this one from the Diamondbacks. He has 117 for his hits per nine, max 125 pitching clutch, 92 control, 99 break, and performs better on the road and also during day games. We got another couple pennant chase packs of 40 points, and then we start the 98 overalls in this program. The first one is from the Brewers, Tyrone Taylor, right fielder, also plays left and center. 104 contact and 109 power versus righties, 92 fielding. 89 speed for him, excels at hitting the first pitch, also wall pinch hitting, and then is a situational hitter. Kevin Ginkle is a relief pitcher from the Diamondbacks, a righty reliever, 99 velocity and break, 111 for his hits per nine, and no outlier though for Kevin. We have a Kevin Kiermeyer. wait a couple Kevins back to back. Center fielder for the Blue Jays, 99 fielding, arm strength, accuracy, and reaction with 96 speed. 107, 102 for the contact. He's going to fit in in the all-defense team. Man, I like seeing 99s just straight in a row like that. But Zach Little, another relief pitcher, 98 overall for the Rays. I like the pitch selection. It's always nice having a reliever with five pitches, 108 hits per nine, 97 break, 125 pitching clutch, and 93 control for Zach Little. And then the final 98 player in the program before we get to some 99s is going to be Alec Thomas from the Diamondbacks. Lefty hitter, also plays center field first, left and right field. 112 and 106 versus righties, only 87 and 92 for the contact and power versus lefties. 91 fielding, 95 speed for Alec Thomas. A couple more of these pennant chase packs, same thing. And then some 99s in the program. Willie Adamas from the Brewers. It's a 99 overall, 125, 105 for his contact, 115, 103 for his power, 99 max fielding with 72 speed for Adamus. Evan Carter, ooh, I'm hoping his swing feels good. I'm actually excited to use this card with how he's been looking in the postseason, but 118, 101 contact, 115, 107 power, 99 reaction, 91 speed in the outfield. Yeah, I'm excited to give Evan Carter a try. Jordan Montgomery, a new pitcher for the all-time Cardinals team right here. 103 for his hits per nine, 99 break, 96 control. Velo on that pitch selection in the top right with his control on each of the pitches looking nasty. 
and then the pits break looking great as well wait i'm actually interested to see how he does 103 hits per nine scares me a little bit but that could be a pretty solid card bryson stott no surprise here gets a wild card card 99 overall for him second short and third 95 speed with 99 fielding as well as 104 and max 125 contact versus lefties and then 92 power versus righties 115 versus lefties a little bit of reverse splits there man i'm excited to use that card too excels at hitting breaking balls oh man that's a fun looking card and then royce lewis 99 for the twins third second short left center and right field with 88 fielding and 85 speed max contact and power versus righties for him a little bit of reverse splits as well 114 contact versus lefties and still 100 power versus lefties and then 125 clutch on the card and 116 clutch for the bryson stott i don't know if i pointed that out but those are the players the 99s all of the cards in this postseason wild card program we do have moments that it looks like you're going to be earning two points a piece for we do have parallel xp missions a repeatable one as well as just set ones for five points each and then five points for the repeatable mission as well there are some single player stat missions with just any players in offline modes single player modes with players from those playoff teams the wildcard teams and then there's also online stat missions with postseason players and wildcard players as well as the teams in general so a lot of online missions here i'm liking the look of that mix of online and offline and then there's also a mini seasons postseason voucher i think we might have a new mini season with rewards to go through and then we'll take a look at the event here in a little bit but there are some cards in the events that you could collect for some extra progress this week in the program and then there's also a wild card conquest map where you're going to be able to get some of these pennant chase and career tribute packs as well as some show packs and some ball in packs and probably some hidden packs as you beat the wild card conquest map and so that's the wild card program you might have seen last week we got this new monthly awards mini season with that carlos pena this week we have the 2023 postseason mini season with a 99 overall aj pollock and there's apparently 17 reward packs that you're able to earn so let's go ahead and take a look at the goals there's the mini seasons voucher which we saw for the program you're able to get some career tribute packs ball in packs diamond duos bundles some more ball ins some show packs diamond duos choice pack continuing to get some diamond duos packs as well and then there's also mini seasons team icons uniforms and everything like that bundles just like normal but what we do have is a 99 overall aj pollock that you're able to earn by winning the championship in this 2023 mini seasons now unfortunately because no one has unlocked the card we're not able to see his attributes but there is a new mini season with a 99 overall available for winning the championship and no surprise we're continuing with the weekly events there's a couple 99 overalls to earn a 12 win reward just like usual and then a 20 win reward if i had to guess but taking a look at the postseason wild card event the rules on the left let's take a look at the rewards you get one two three and four wins some packs stubs and xp and the first player card at five wins moreno from the diamondbacks 97 overall catcher also plays second third and left field 99 blocking on the card 85 fielding for him max contact versus lefties 96 power for him versus righties the first reward in this new event keep it on moving you get some packs some stubs some xp one of these rewind packs i'll probably be choosing tatis out of here at 10 wins and then at 20 wins you get a 99 overall switch hitting wild card josh bell Ooh, i love josh bell's swing and i've been pretty happy with the most recent 20 wins first that tatis now a josh bell switch hitter max contact versus righties 109 versus lefties 112 106 for his power 109 clutch first base also plays left and right field but with 77 fielding 46 speed i think he's either going to be my first baseman or my dh if i'm using this 99 overall josh bell at 30 wins you can get one of these event rewind packs that's where i'm going to try to get that tyler o'neill 
And for this week, for 12 wins, there's a 2023 postseason Zach Wheeler. Starting pitcher card from the Phillies, that pitch selection in the top right, slurve, sinker, slider, curve, and a four-seamer. 99 velo on the card, as well as break, 104 hits per nine, 110 for his pitching clutch. Control at 92 overall, and then the break again is at 99 Performs better at home and during night games. No surprise there for that wild card Zach Wheeler. A 12 win reward, 12 wins in a single entry for the wild card event that's going on that started today. We also have new diamond duos in the pack shop. The first is a Christy Mathewson. I'm sorry that the card art is not here, but a starting pitcher from the Giants, 106 for his hits per nine, 99 break, 96 velo, 96 control, pitch selection in the top right. You can see the velo on each of his pitches. You can see the control on each of them and then the pitch break on each of them. This Christy Mathewson could actually be pretty nasty and he has out break outlier on his card as well. And then the other new diamond duo is a future star from the Diamondbacks. Jordan Lawler gets a card. Shortstop also plays second and third. 99 speed and 92 fielding, 88 reaction. And with 109 contact versus righties, max 125 contact versus lefties, and then 102 and 108 for his power. And those are the two new diamond duos, Christy Mathewson and Jordan Lawler. Let me know what cards you're most excited for from today's content drop, maybe down in the comments. I would say for me, number one, Josh Bell. And then I'm also looking forward to using Evan Carter and that Jordan Montgomery from the Wild Card program. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in tomorrow's daily upload. Hope you all have a great rest of your day today, a great weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's daily upload. Peace.